But what if I were to tell you that I have two quarterback archetypes for you to choose from? Uh, and this is, this is a thought experiment for entertainment purposes only. You can have Justin Herbert Light or Kirk Cousins Plus. Herbert Light means his, his arm is, he's not quite as big. His arm's not quite as strong. Uh, he's not quite, a, quite the athlete, but he's, he's real close. 80 to 90% on, on all of it. Or, or, uh, and uh, you're not as consistent either. Footwork, all that kind of stuff. Herbert's kind of robotic. Uh, this quarterback archetype is is not. more of A little bit more of a Sandlot player. Um, or you could have Kirk Cousins plus. So we're taking some off of Herbert. We're adding some athleticism and arm strength to Cousins, but we keep the stuff we like about Kirk, the processing speed, the decision-making. I'd also say uh, the, the mental toughness uh, for this this quarterback is is tougher than especially what Kirk was earlier in his career. I think Kirk has developed that very well. He's put a lot into his mentality uh, and the psychology of, of the sport over his career. He actually deserves a ton of credit for that, um, where I think younger Kirk got flustered and frustrated. So think of Kirk mentally now versus even though we're talking about a rookie here. Um which one would you like? Would you like Herbert Light or Cousins Plus? And we can take some calls on this too. 301 230 980 Of course, realistically, I'm talking about J.J. McCarthy versus Drake May. We've taken Jaden Daniels out of the equation just for the purposes of this thought experiment and exercise. Uh, and I don't really care whether you agree with those assessments. I'm just, I think it's an interesting thought experiment and... Because I, I'm curious what people think wins in the NFL. So before I give my answer, my thoughts, my take, would you rather have Herbert Light or Cousins Plus? I think I would rather have Cousins Plus, um, partly because of how um, detail oriented he was uh, or he is as a, a passer. I think you know being able to process be. Uh, pre-reads and things of that nature before the play go, will help a quarterback out in the long term. Um, but also, if Kurt was a little bit more mobile in the pocket, could get away from, you know, the defensive tackles and uh, defensive ends, I think that will make him a little bit more scarier. Not to say he's a statue in the pocket, but... No, he moves yeah. well, but there are times that his size, like he is the one quarterback below 205 pounds that succeeded in the last 20 years. Yeah. And there are times where you're like, oh, that's why the other quarterbacks fail where Kirk does turtle up and just go down, and he's good at protecting himself, and he yeah. lives for the next down, um, which is why he stayed healthy until the Achilles. Um, but it, he is, he and he's tough as nails. Like, Kirk has taken some shots over the years, and he finds a way to conti- ways to continue playing through it um, because he protects himself just enough, and he's tough as nails. But I agree with you. Like, I, I think we fall in love with traits because we see what Mahomes can do and what Allen can do, and I totally get it. But I think that there's something to not hunting the traits and getting guys that are just going to consistently, you know, to, to use the Alex Smith phrase, not go broke making a profit. I think the question and why this is an actually interesting intellectual exercise is I do think those types of guys, your cousins, your Alex Smiths, et cetera, your Brock Purdy's can get you so far. But I would question then, do you need a guy with a little bit more wild side to him, a little bit more variance to get you over the top. And obviously the answer for a guy like Mahomes is, yeah, yeah, that's the guy right now who gets you over the top and he's got not just a great, you know, can kill you from the pocket, he's got the best playmaking ability and, and the best second action ability, second reaction ability, arguably in the history of the sport. Um other guys that I think of that have elite traits but maybe aren't the most consistent have a little bit of wild uh, decision-making at times. Uh, Joe Flacco, the ultimate like wild card Super Bowl winner, right? With the Ravens, he just got hot at the right time, but he took the right risks and they paid off, and the Ravens win a Super Bowl in a year where Flacco was unbelievable. And You see what he does with the Browns this past year because he is willing to to take shots and take chances, and sometimes those risks pay off. Also, he threw a ton of interceptions and probably cost you some games. Uh, and and you never quite feel like you have a steady floor underneath you as a football team because your quarterback play fluctuates week over week. It's unreliable, even if at times spectacular. And so, you know, if Mahomes is is the, the modern-day GOAT, 
um, or, or the, the greatest of uh, the G-O-C-T, the greatest of current times, uh, not the GOAT. I don't know how that acronym sounds out. Be very phlegmy. Gucked. Uh, point is, he's got the second reaction ability stuff. Brady was the ultimate surgeon from the pocket. Moved very well in the pocket, for sure, but super pocket manipulator to a point that I would say, like, if you want the, uh, what's the, amp, pick the nicest car you can think of. Lamborghini, Ferrari, Aston Martin. A Bugatti. Wh- Bugatti version of Kirk Cousins. Yep. It really is Tom Brady, right? Yeah. Super ultimate processor, never makes mistakes, never gets flustered, uh, always comes through in the clutch. Some of the, the all the areas where Cousins has fallen short um, at times, despite mostly being very good, like Brady just, Brady just kept going. But it was never spectacular outside of the appreciation of just how damn accurate and correct and on time he was all the time. And so would you rather have, if you're not getting the maximalist version of either, would you rather have, we're going to call it Justin Herbert Light or Kirk Cousins Plus? I would go Cousins Plus. Anthony would go Cousins Plus. Let's go to Gus on the Team 980 listener line. Gus, which archetype would you rather have? I go Herbert Light because it's the number two pick. You know, Cousins was allowed to be a backup for three years. I know he played here and there, but he was allowed to fail without these big expectations on him. And so that goes to the fact that you're a system passing type quarterback. You know, you think Cousins survives the Eric Bieniemy treatment early in his career? I don't. I think it would have ruined him. But well, Herbert would have. I, I mean, here's the thing, though. Like, I would assume that you would then take – like I, this is not assuming that you then commit coaching malpractice with either of them. This is assuming that you take them and then use them for what they are. You let the Herbert Light archetype play around a little bit and see what happens, and you try to run a, you know, not not necessarily like a West Coast Shanahan, but like the same kind of model that they've run in San Francisco, where you you make that quarterback a point guard and get the ball out of his hands to your playmakers as often and as quickly as possible. Uh, and let his decision making shine. Th- this isn't to say that you have to do it one way or the other, or, but it, it's it's which one would you rather have to build around, knowing what you have? It would it'd still be Herbert because even Shanahan only really did well when Trey Williams got on the you know picture, right? So I mean, I mean, we don't have that offensive line for us. So yeah, I mean, I think that's an oversimplification of it. Um, he's been a successful offensive coordinator in basically every stop. Uh, there was, he was awesome with Matt Ryan in Atlanta. Uh, they went to a Super Bowl. He's won, gone to two Super Bowls with Brock Purdy, uh, or one with Brock Purdy and one with Jimmy Garoppolo in San Francisco. Um, and that's kind of my point is like, I would take the Cousins Plus because I know, how, like, that point guard model is one that I think that I can build around and win with. Um, where even if I get great skill players around a Herbert Light, if he doesn't really have all the talent to make him shine and he himself is not going to be a playmaker on a consistent enough basis, then I'm wasting playmakers and I'm probably going to find myself frustrated at the end of a lot of seasons. Um, but I don't think it's concrete. Let's go to Zoe. Zoe, thanks for calling. You're on the Hoffman Show. Hey, Craig, how you doing? Thank you for taking my call. I'm going with Herbert Light all day. Why would you go <clears throat> Herbert Light? I mean, I mean, bottom line is the ceiling. <clears throat> It's just something that we're talking about projections that Drake made, man, the, the skill set is there. Like, we've seen him, we seen him do a lot more with less. Uh, whereas, think about Kirk Cousins. It's fourth and one. It's fourth and seven game on the line. You throw a three-yard pass. I mean, Cousins also I, threw I, what I, was I, the I, fourth and 19 to Justin Jefferson that he snatched off over three dudes. So, like, yeah, there's examples I mean, of both. But, Cous- uh, I mean, Herbert but, also I mean, blew that lead to Jacksonville. Well, how many years have Herbert been in the league and how many years has Kurt been in the league? Kurt but is but my point is, is that you're not getting Herbert and you're getting more than Cousins. Okay, I'm tracking, I'm tracking, I'm tracking. I'm tracking. Right, and that's kind of what I'm saying with the archetype, right? Is like, it's not about would you rather have Herbert or Cousins at because then you're getting Cousins, Cousins, and Herbert, Herbert, not Herbert, Light, and Cousins Plus, in which case, yeah, I'd rather take Herbert, so I'm not crazy. Come on now. Um, but it, it's, right, right. would you rather have the... 
point guard with a little bit of athleticism and, and some playmaking and some of that, or a guy who does a lot more of that, but down in, down out, doesn't have the consistency. And you might still say, I'll you know, take my chances my, my with the variance. Have the consistency. I can win with consistency, but right. of course, we, we're looking for someone that can beat my home. So that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I misunderstood the question. I'm trying I'm with you. On it. Uh, okay, cool. No, I appreciate the call. And I'm glad we, we talked that out because I'm sure you weren't the only one. Appreciate that call. But that's the thing is like, and, and who knows? Maybe McCarthy isn't the Cousins plus. Maybe McCarthy is Cousins or not even Cousins from consistency. And he's got a little bit more wild man to him, but not the consistency that Kirk has had. In which case, he's definitely not worth taking number two overall. And maybe May is not Herbert Light. He's some Herbert-Josh Allen combo. And he's somewhere between the two where he's better than Herbert, but not quite as good as Josh. Uh, because he's less robotic than Herbert is and has some of that Allen playmaking ability, and he's absolutely the right pick. Or maybe they're both wrong, and Jaden Daniels, and, and all, none of this matters for Washington, and this is a New England Patriots problem. But th- that's kind of my thing is I think people look at, oh, well, he could be, and I'm like, yeah, but he could make the spectacular play. I mean, I was watching some of May this morning, and there's a play where he does one of these like underhand shovel pass deals as he's getting sacked. And you're just like, God, I got to have that playmaking. Then you go watch McCarthy in some games too, and it's just ripped seam after ripped slant after perfect ball. And then he does roll out and make a play or, or, or fire one 20 yards on a frozen rope off a play action and create a big play to a Roman Wilson. It's there. And that's why it's, for me, Cousins Plus or a Herbert Light, to use a term that a scout used in Ben Sandig's piece in The Athletic, And that's kind of the archetype situation that you're picking from if you want to choose between May and McCarthy, which I think is ultimately going to be the Patriots problem or maybe the Vikings problem or whoever uh, Vegas Denver's problem at three. If Washington says we don't really care, we're just going to take Jaden Daniels at two. It's the Hoffman show. We're on the team 980. We're always live as well on the free Odyssey app. And when we get back, we wrap up the show with real things. Real people said into real microphones. Hey, this is DA, and you're listening to The Hoffman Show on the Team 980 and the Odyssey app.